For each of the problems in this chapter 15, we are going to be determining the concentration of every species that's present in solution at equilibrium. And our job is to decide what kind of substance we're dealing with. Is it an acid? Is it a base? Is it strong? Is it weak? Is it a salt that makes an acid or a base? After we know the concentration of each species present, we could answer questions about the substance. In this case, they're asking for pH and percent ionization. First thing I have to do is look at my substance and decide what it is. When H's are written at the beginning, that's a giveaway that we're dealing with an acid. This is not on our strong acid list. Another giveaway that it's an acid is it's called acetic acid. Um, another way, giveaway that it's an acid is we were given a Ka value for this substance. So let's write a reaction for that acid in water. When it reacts with water, it donates its proton to the water. Now, truly I should write a AQs after each one of these substances except for water which would be a liquid because they're all dissolved in water. Once I have an equilibrium uh, reaction I can write its expression. It's called a Ka because this is an acid reaction. It would be the C2H3O2 minus ion, the H3O plus ion, divided by the concentration of the acid. Now this is at equilibrium all of those are. So we'll set ourselves up an ICE table. We will put in the initial concentration that's given to me in the problem. Don't care about the water. I know that before the equilibrium takes place there is none of this and there is essentially none of this. Now we will put zeros here most typically but uh, truly there is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 molar of H3O plus to start with. But most likely the concentrations that I want to produce are going to be much higher than that number and I won't have to consider this value in my, and I can just think about it as there isn't any. We will use up some of the acid and produce the acetate ion and some of the hydronium ion. And so I have at equilibrium this, this, and this. At this point I can plug in what we know. We know that Ka is 1.0, no it's 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. We would represent each of those concentrations on top with x, so that'll give me x squared and 0.15 minus x here. We will assume that x is much much smaller than 0.15 and that way we can ignore this term. When we ignore this term then we can solve for x by multiplying both sides by the 0.15 and then we can take the square root of both sides to get rid of the x squared. And this will give me an x value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. You have to always check your assumption. If I were to take 0.15 and subtract 0 0.0016 from it, I would still get 0.15 to two significant figures. So that is a very good assumption to make. And then we're ready to finish the problem. We want to know the concentration of everything in this solution at equilibrium. So the concentration of HC2H3O2 would be 0.15 minus X. Well, I've already established that that didn't change its number any. The concentration of C2H3O2 minus is going to be the X value of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. This is also the hydroxide concentration. Are those the only things present in solution? I'm sorry, not the hydroxide concentration. Don't know why I said that. This is the H3O plus concentration. Now are these the only things present in solution? Um, there's one other thing present. Anytime you have H3O plus, you always have OH minus as well. And we know that KW equals H3O plus times OH minus. So OH minus concentration equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, which is KW, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3.
whatever that value is. The last thing we're going to do is calculate the pH and the percent ionization. We know that pH is equal to the negative log of the H3O plus concentration, which was 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3. This gives me a pH of 2.78. That is an acidic solution. The other thing that we're asked to determine is the percent ionization. Percent ionization will be the ionized form and we can put in the H3O plus concentration divided by the initial acid concentration times 100. And this will give me a percent ionization of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0 0.15 times 100 which will give us 1.1%.